Hi guys. Um, I'm here with a quick little TheraBand flow. Um, so obviously you will need a TheraBand for this um, video. Um, and any resistance will do really. Um, obviously the heavier of a TheraBand you have, the more tension you're going to have, um, which sometimes is helpful and then sometimes will be make it more challenging. So I'd have try to find one that's more of like a medium middle resistance, um, but really whatever you have will work. Um, so we're gonna start with the legs out in front of us. Now, if it's really hard for you to sit up with a tall spine with the legs extended, then just bend the knees. Okay, you wanna feel your sits bones right underneath you. So if um, you extend the legs and you feel like you're kind of like stuck back here, like you're, you're rounding into your back and it's just like whatever you do, you can't sit up any taller, then just bend the knees and then you should find a taller spine, okay? Otherwise, you can extend the legs out. Okay, we're gonna warm up a little bit. So you're gonna take the band around your feet. So whether your legs are fully extended or your knees are bent, you can still do this. You wanna flex your feet so that the band really like stays put and make sure the band is fully flattened around your feet. If it gets like rolled up, it might just slip right off your feet, which isn't the end of the world, but it's just kind of annoying, right? It takes you out of the flow. So um, from here, I like to take my feet out a little bit wider so I create a little more tension on the band. And then we're using the band to help us find an even taller spine. All right, and then from here, you wanna roll the shoulders back and down and take a second to tune into your breath. Inhale, feeling the rib cage expand. Exhale, belly draws in deeper. And then we're gonna do a little work for the posture to start. So you're gonna start with a, a low row. So with an exhale, you're going to just pull your elbows back by your sides, feel them graze your rib cage and squeeze the base of your shoulder blades right in the middle of the back. And then inhale, just lengthen the arms back up. And exhale. And inhale. And again, with the band, the more resistance you need, you just kind of choke up a little bit higher, create more resistance for yourself or less. But palms face in and we're just warming up those postural muscles. We're trying to target the rhomboids and the lower traps, which uh, pull your shoulders down your back. So rather than pulling the elbows and kind of scrunching up here, we want to think shoulders down, ribs in, belly in. For five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good. Okay, now you're going to cross the band. So you'll make an X with the band. And we're going to go into a wide row now. So same idea, but now the up palms face down and the elbows will come out wide. So you're going to exhale. Pull those elbows by your sides, squeeze the shoulders together, inhale, release. Exhale, and release. Again, I'm squeezing at the base of the shoulder blades, not at the top. I'm trying to take this out of those upper traps and get into some of those smaller muscles that don't get as much attention. But that really help us to come out of our kyphosis, that rounded forward posture that we tend to live in. For three, two, one, and then release. Good. Okay, from here we're gonna go right into bow and arrow. So now we're getting a little rotation through the spine. So you're gonna exhale, pull the right elbow back as your left arm reaches forward. Find that twist, then inhale to center, exhale the other side. Inhale, exhale. Good, so now I'm working one side of the back at a time as I twist and pull. Try to get the biggest rotation that you can. Other arm is reaching out in front as I twist. So this arm isn't being lazy, it's active. Both arms are active. One, I'm going to do 
one more just to even myself out, finishing on that left side, and then release. Whew. Take a little forward fold. I really felt that. Let that go. Really nice. Okay. All right, from here, you have the option, you can use your band. Actually, we'll just do that. We're gonna use our band to find a nice roll down. So arms are gonna reach out in front. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, try to keep your arms straight and start to roll down about halfway. Then inhale, hold. Exhale, come back up. So the band is there as a nice little assistance, right? So we're gonna roll back. Pause, and then use the exhale to come back up. Good, do that a few times. Two more. Last one, we're gonna hold it. From here, you might need less tension on the band. You're gonna be a little bicep curls. So you're just gonna exhale, curl the arms in, inhale, lengthen. As you do this, shoulders are down your back, they're not up towards your ears. Last one, we're gonna hold up and just find light little pulses on that band. Try to scoop the belly in even deeper. Try to lift your shoulder blades up off the ground even more, but pull them away from your ears. For five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Nice work. All right. We're gonna bring the arms back up, plug the shoulders down, and then let's bring the legs up to a tabletop position. So flatten the back down, one leg at a time, comes up to tabletop. All right, so now lower back is pressing down, tailbone is heavy, squeeze the legs together. Exhale, we're gonna curl up and reach the band over the shins, and inhale, come back down. Exhale, 
and down. Every time you curl up, try to find a little shake through the belly and down. Option to add on as you curl up, you're going to press the band over your shins, press your arms down by the ground and back down. Exhale and down. So we're working again the back as you press the arms down, try to feel your triceps and down. For five, four, three, two, one. We're going to come up and hold, pressing that band down. Pump those arms. Feel your triceps. For five, four, three, two, one. Hold the arms down and pulse the shins up. Feel that low belly. Woo! Feel that burn. For five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rock side to side. Awesome job. All right. From here, arms going back up, feet down. Bring your heels right underneath your knees. And we're going to go for a nice flat back hinge bridge. So you're going to exhale, hinge your hips straight up. Inhale, right back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Be mindful as you're lifting, your knees stay in place. So you want to have nice parallel legs, knees stacked right over your ankles, toes pointing straight out. Your knees are not collapsing in or bowing out as you're moving. They're really strong. So inner and outer thighs are working together just to hold the legs in parallel. At the top of the bridge, ribs pull in. We're going to add on now. As you lift the hips up, I want you to press your arms down by your sides just like before and then come down. But this time, we're using the resistance of the band to get into those glutes a little bit more. So exhale, curl up, and down. We have five, four, three, two, Last one, we're going to hold the hips up. Good. From here, try to press your arms as far down by your sides as you can. And then try to lift your heels up and down. And down. Just try to find a little releve here, get into those calves. Press. Keep pressing the arms down and keep pressing the hips up for five, four, three, two, on one, hold those heels high and pulse the hips up. Up into that band for five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, and come down. My calf totally started to cramp on me there. Nice job. Okay, guys. Now you're going to take the band around your right foot. And then come back down. And again, you just always want to place that band when it's on the feet nice and flat so it doesn't scrunch up and roll off. And then let's stretch out those hamstrings. So let your elbows rest down on the mat. And we're just going to point and flex the right foot. Feeling that stretch into your ankle joint. And then noticing every time you flex the foot how it really deepens that stretch into the back of your right leg. Last one here. Now, check in that your left foot's right in your left heel. We're going into a single leg bridge with the resistance of the band. So elbows are down. You're going to exhale, hinge the hips up. Inhale down. And you can always just give yourself a little more slack on the band if it feels 
too hard to lift the hips. But I love this because as we're working that left glute, we're also stretching the right hamstring. I love when we can multitask and that's all about what we do here in Pilates, right? Always trying to work the body in multiple ways at once. For five, four, three, two, last one. We're gonna hold here. I'm gonna give myself a little more slack on the band. And then we're gonna inhale, lower the right leg down, exhale to that. Inhale, lower, and lift. Try to keep your hips exactly where they are. Don't let that right hip drop down. For five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Really good. Take the, extend your left leg out long, take your right leg across your body. You can stay holding on to the fair band to kind of deepen the stretch, pulling your right leg up, or you can just let it be a little more passive and let go of the band. I'm gonna pull on the band. I just have a little deeper stretch into my outer hip and hamstring. Oh, feels so good. All right, let's come back to center. And we're gonna do that on the other side. So you're gonna take your left foot into the band, right foot down, and let's just start by stretching that leg out. So just flex and point, flex and point. I'm totally saying the opposite of what I'm doing. So this is flexing, this is pointing, just so we're not totally confused. <laughs> Three, two, one, and then we're gonna hold here. Okay, give yourself as much or as little tension as you need. Elbows pressed down by your sides. Bring that right foot in right underneath your right knee, and then we're gonna exhale, press up. Strong, lift up and down. Hinge the hips up. Whew. Right glute working so hard. Strong breath will help you here. For four, three, two, Last one, we're gonna hold here. Give yourself a little slack if you need. Inhale, lower your leg down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower and lift. Try to keep those hips nice and high. For five, four, three, One, and then come all the way down. Extend the right leg out and take that twist. And you can use that band to find a deeper twist or you can just let it go and be, let it be passive. All right, and then we're gonna come back to center. Okay, we're almost done. Hold it as the band. Maybe give your fingers a little stretch here and it can get kind of exhausting holding onto the band. 
Um, but we're gonna reach those arms up, bring the legs back to tabletop. All right, and we're gonna find a little um, single leg stretch. So we'll curl up into a chest lift and hold, try to drop the shoulders down. Then we're just gonna extend one leg out long and bring it in. Other leg and in. Now, if this is too much, you can always ditch the band and just bring your hands behind your head. Otherwise, you're gonna stay here, and then as one leg extends, I want you to pull that arm as well, and then in. So as one leg extends, we're gonna pull on the band with just one arm. Make sure that the other side is staying totally stable. Good, let's add a little twist onto it. So as one leg extends and you pull, I want you to twist to that side and back. Twist and back. Good, so you're feeling those obliques a little bit more. And a little rotation for five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Whew. All right. From here, arms up, on the tabletop, curl up. Let's find a double leg stretch. Reach both legs out long and bend it in. And let's add on the arms. So the legs extend, arms extend, and bring it in. Try to just lift the shoulder blades off the ground, draw the belly in deeper. For five, four, three, two, we're gonna hold it on one, hold here, pulse those arms out. For five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Awesome job, guys. Let your knees drop to one side, get a nice rotation, let that go. And then to the other side. All right, and then roll over, press yourself up to a seat. Just find a nice, comfortable seat, whatever that is for you. All right, let's take a second here and take a few neck rolls. Here's the direction to release any tension that crept up. And give your shoulders a big shrug up and drop them down one more time. Big shrug up and down. And you guys are all done. Awesome job. Um, so just a nice, quick and dirty little TheraBand flow. Um, if you guys like that, let me know. I can post some more um, fun videos with the TheraBand. It's such a great tool. Um, if you have questions, also feel free to leave comments. Happy to answer them. Otherwise, um, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for joining.